Dr. <laughs> Janet Neshawat. Doctor, thank you so much for being here, first of all. Hey, Nick, great to be with you. All right, first things first, what are some of the wrong things you often see people doing <laughs> this time of the year when dealing with the cold? <laughs> Well, the number one thing is make sure that you're well dressed when you go outside. Sometimes I see people going out without proper clothing, without proper shoes, or they're dehydrated. That certainly can have an impact. So you want to be careful to make sure you're prepared from head to toe because, you know, Nick, it only takes a few de degrees of a drop in temperature Fahrenheit for our bodies to, to notice, uh-oh, something's not right, and it can throw off our e equilibrium. Anything below 95 degrees Fahrenheit, our body doesn't like. So we have to be careful to protect ourselves. Hey, if someone happens to get frostbite, what should they do? How should they react? That's a great question. Well, first and foremost, we want to prevent that frostbite. So if, as, as you mentioned earlier, it's so important to dress in layers from head to toe, wear a hat, wear gloves, make sure you're wearing proper boots, that sort of thing. If you happen to get wet outdoors, you want to quickly switch into dry clothing and also make sure you seek warm shelter and minimize your exposure to being in, in prolonged cold weather in the first place. But with frostbite, that tends to you know, affect our nose, our fingertips, our toes, uh, the furthest parts of our body away from the heart. So what you can do is, again, wear those gloves, wear your hat, minimize your exposure to cold weather and seek shelter right away. But some things that can make that work is if, for example, if you're smoking, if you're dehydrated, if you drink too much alcohol, that can make frostbite worse. But you can definitely prevent it by, first and foremost, minimizing your exposure to the cold uh, weathers as much as possible. So stay indoors whenever it's freezing cold, whenever it's snowing. There you go. That's uh, pretty much echoing what we've been saying here, at least for the next couple of days anyways. All right, from frostbite over to hypothermia then, which is kind of a, a step above, a rung above, uh, what should someone do in that situation if they start becoming yeah. hypothermic? Yeah, so what happens is there's different stages of hypothermia. You can start off with just shivering, um, shallow breathing, then it can progress into shortness of breath, confusion, headache, even drowsiness and slurred speech. So that's when you want to seek medical care right away. Call 911. You need to get into uh, warm blankets, warm fluids. Sometimes running warm water um, can help over your, your extremities. And uh, But it's important to seek medical care right away because it can result in, in things like heart attacks. Um, you can have lack of circulation to your organs. It can result in organ failure. So the key, again, is prevention. We want to prevent that, and we do that by minimizing exposure to the cold weather, seeking help right away if you start experiencing any of those symptoms that we just discussed, um, and, of course, staying hydrated is so important. That's absolutely right. Uh, what are some other cold-related illnesses that you tend to see? We covered frostbite. We've got hypothermia. Anything else we should be on the lookout for? Yeah, one thing that I see a lot with my patients is a, a lot of slip and fall. So again, we, we want to talk about proper footwear, uh, making sure you, you can see where you're going. Be careful with the black ice and, and the snow. Um, also, if you're out shoveling snow, you, you want to be careful. We see a lot of heart attacks that happen um, during this cold winter month. So to speak to your doctor, uh, make sure you're healthy. Don't uh, force overdo it. Don't overdo it. Don't overload yourself. If you're going to go out to shovel snow, keep it at a min minimum, just a few minutes at a time. Don't be afraid to take breaks. And again, you want to stay hydrated. Yeah, or just uh, or, or just fellas convince the wives to to <laughs> buy a snowblower, right? And then you can exactly. bypass all that. Keep hey, it easy. hey, That's doctor, right. we really appreciate your time. Thanks for helping uh, us all stay a little more safe. And there you have it. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Nick. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.